Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJam and today I just wanted to quickly show you how to use Photoshop's AI generative expand feature. So let's hop on over into Photoshop. So here we are with a photo of the one and only Superman. And what I'm going to be doing today is just show you how you can use Photoshop's generative expand to extend this background. Because let's say you're designing something and a lot of times we find cool photos that's in a vertical or portrait orientation, but we just really, really wanted that landscape orientation, right? And sometimes a piece of the model or the piece of the image is cut off, like a piece of Superman's cape is cut off here, or this other photo that I have of Wonder Woman, it's like in the portrait vertical orientation, right? But what I really want is that sweet landscape goodness. So to do that, what you do is hit C for your crop tool. Let me just zoom out by using alt and my mouse wheel and let's say i just want to just like drag this out like so i'm just like using the crop feature right because i wanted a horizontal as i said a landscape right because i'm using the crop tool all i have to do is come up top here and you see you said generative expand right by default or what we're used to back in the day is the transparent like it is now if i were to choose a generative expand and then just go ahead and click this check mark here or click enter you can enter a prompt of something that you want to generate specifically or you can just go ahead and click generate and let photoshop work for you right so it's working it's working it's working it'll give you three results over here it's best three and then you can cycle through them choose what you like or generate some more right so here we are this is what it gave me on the first go if i were to come over here you'll see i have options as i mentioned if i were to click you'll see ooh, ooh, that one is looking pretty good right i like this one too what's that is that a moon crashing in the background and i mean like come on come on no more struggling with vertical or portrait orientations right like how cool is this if i show this to someone who has never seen this image before how are they going to know that i use photoshop to generate this right here right because remember we're coming from here to here i mean sure it's a little bit like wonky right here right but i mean it's ai right it's getting better every day but this one this one is really really good if you ask me right that's really good like it literally got his cape there's no cape and it got me the cape and it, it developed its own raindrops. See that? That is so cool. Let me go ahead and hop on over to this Wonder Woman image that I had here. Do the same thing. See for crop tool. Just extend it how you want. Like, on, well, let me undo that. I can just hold Alt option if you're on Mac and just drag this edge and it will just generate it for me, right? Let me just hit the arrow or press enter. You can enter something here if you want to give it a prompt. I just want the background to be expanded and let me just go ahead and click generate it's gonna work for me it's gonna work for me let's see what it comes up with this time around right In. this is where you insert the jeopardy song and how cool is that like come on like let's see option two all right option one is all right but option two it's giving me some more lava volcano stuff going on i think i like option three yeah i like option three what do you guys think i re i'm like like come on that, that do i really need to say anything right so let me know did you know that photoshop had this generative expanded feature their ai feature built in if not with all that we've done here today do you see yourself using this for yourself or for a client work let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is CJAM and I'll see you guys in the next one.